also listening with the other ear, then it can be a bit uncomfortable. I'll show you that a bit later on. What you will see is it has these large padded faux leather ear cups that are pretty deep actually and they're quite large too, so I haven't found there's been any unnecessary pressure on my ears. While I'm All right, right, hello, good morning. It is at 858. It's not really a closed back design, so it doesn't have a lot of passive noise cancellation. Ah. My voice while I'm talking to you, for example, which is a good thing as well because there's no side turners default, so you don't get any feedback from the microphone. You're not able to hear your own voice through the microphone. However, there is an easy mic mute button on the cable, and you can restrain the microphone. Now, a dedicated microphone setup, you can do that. There's no light on the mic to let you know it's muted though, but you do have a little indicator on the box on the cable and you'll see that when you mute it, basically you have that little red stripe on there to let you know that's done. But there's no audible cue, so it's easy to mute yourself on the cable and not realise you've done it, and then have a problem where you can't capture audio, which I've had. There is also a- Hold on, Mom, hello. T. Sam's, hello. As well, so you do have easy access to the controls, and there's otherwise no controls on the headset. Cells. As usual, I'm getting ready for work. This one may be okay. Hello. Okay. A PC or a laptop that requires Turn this a off. Where you have a connect. I was listening to videos about a headset. Marty, good morning. I was listening to some. Oh, come on. I pressed sleep instead of off. Uh, there we go. Yeah, my eyes hog. <laughs> my famous eyes hog. All right, that's shut down. We're ready to go outside. Dale's good morning. I'm fine. Chris Tate, good morning. All right, let's get out of here. All right, Earl, get out. You can't stay in here during the day. You're a terrorist. <laughs> Earl will destroy anything in that computer room so we don't let him in there unless I'm there. Oh, hell, I forgot left my laundry in here yesterday when I came back. All right, not a bad day. Let's get this laundry out of here. There you go. Lock the door. See you later. <laughs> Cleaning dude stalking me this morning. <laughs> Cleaning dude's there at the door, man. Today it's just a normal day. Like a normal day, kind of warm actually. Thank you for the bitch dead. Whoop whoop. All right, let's roll. And another day. Get at it. he do a good job cleaning uh, only when you only every couple of months you got to go in and he does a good job once you supervise him then he falters off over the month <laughs> in 
my way to Jabel. Give me about 30 minutes, are you? Whoop, whoop. This dude, you have to, uh, that's why a lot of times on like a Saturday, I stay home and make sure I watch him clean at least one day a month. He's, he'll get complacent. a snow shower this morning. Really? I can't even relate to that. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Salmon KATV. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't relate to snow or cold weather. I have not been in that environment for so many years. I don't even have a clue about it. I don't think I've been in a freezing, cold, snowy weather in over a decade. I haven't been near it, to be honest. I haven't even visited anywhere that's been cold. When I've been somewhere, it's always been there summer. The coldest place, maybe Helsinki was a little chilly at night, but that bad. Oh. Hopefully today will turn out to be better than yesterday. I've been nonsense at work to take care of. It's not out of my control. It's not like I can do it. Laptop's motherboard was corrupt. I have to go into the office every day. Really? My hot weather is bad? Yeah, it's unbelievable hot. We have the worst summer on the planet, but our winters are nice. <laughs> summer is not. Summer's a bitch. Careful, lots of drunk drivers this time. <laughs> well, yeah, right. Yeah, no drunk drivers here. COD, uh, 5 COD, what's up? We are rocking and rolling, headed to work for another exciting day. Hoorah. <laughs> Morning, what's up, Mo? They finally gave me my Amazon credit back last night. I already spent it this morning. They won't let you transfer the credit once they give it to you. I'll never do that again. I don't know what I'm going to Spain, but they won't let you transfer the credit they give you. That's bullshit. I paid them COD and then they give me back credit, but then I can't transfer it. So you gotta use it only there. Anyway, I bought a cheap HP headset and a little light for streaming. There's nothing else I really wanted. Thanks for the sub, Mom. I got that HP, their non-impressive 7.1 headset to hear better in the game, and then a little streaming light that hooks on your computer. Nothing big. I didn't want to spend more. I just bought two cheap things. I was going to send that somewhere else, but I couldn't. I actually been up a while this morning. I spent the past hour online trying to figure out what to do with that credit. And also, they only give you 14 days and if you don't use the credit, it disappears. What kind of nonsense is that? 14 days, it's my money. How can my money disappear? It's really a, the Amazon deal. I'll, I don't think I'll do COD ever again. I don't like it. If you've got a problem on the COD, you get pressured into taking credits and then spending it within two weeks. So, I don't care for the COD. Yeah. I made a mistake on that one. 
Thank God it's only like a hundred dollars. Still a hundred dollars though. Hundred dollars, a hundred dollars. Kind of pisses me off. <sighs> Have you ever been to a casino? Man, I used to be a hell of a blackjack player. I used to live in Las Vegas, and I lived in a high-rise, and I was a highly rated uh, blackjack player. I played a lot of blackjack. Am I up or down on gambling? I never did uh, enough to lose. I didn't, uh, I was grinding out blackjack. That's all. Just grind out blackjack. And then just one day I stopped. But I was rated, I had my rating card at every casino. I always had my free food and free everything. All the millionaires quit right before winning big. <laughs> I just burn out on it, that's all. It kind of gets old. It's big. Staying in Vegas is not that exciting. No, there's no casinos here. Vegas, it gets old. We played it up to keep our rating up so we'd always have our everything calm. So it was nice to have everything calm. Good night, Des. You have private gambling? I don't know. I only played to keep my rating up. The funny is I had a roommate that was a big boss from a major company. We had a shared an apartment there. <laughs> That old boy lost all the time. He was always borrowing money from me and giving it back pay to him. He was addicted. I don't know how, but he'd always lose. I can't remember a time he ever won. <laughs> he was always down. I think at the time, I had a box I kept with $400 worth of chips in it. And whether it went up or down, I would never do more than that. Hell, he'd always end up borrowing my profits. <laughs> I got my sister pregnant. Why should I do? Yeah, dude. Uh, that's just weird. Welcome to the new world of maturity where each and everybody doesn't really have to think about that stuff. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. busy in the morning this time of day. Everybody's rushing to get to work because they're supposed to be in the office right now. excited. It is Wednesday. Tomorrow is my virtual Friday. So my week is winding down, which is good. I have been playing around on PUBG PC, and then I've been running around on that sim game thing, DayZ. 
man. And, <laughs> I figured out I cannot play the Daisy game very well with a controller on the Legion Go. I try, but there's many keys I don't understand what to do. Octavian, hello. The Daisy is a long game. You can just get in there and walk around and live forever. It's kind of like not really intense. It's a mellow survival simulator, you know? It's kind of like, it's an older game. Got a following, but it's kind of a trip. I'm not sure how I like it. Good morning. What's up, Vancouver? I have not, I'm not ready for final judgment. It's a good time waster, though. I don't like slow satisfaction, though. You need to find more people in days. They will be more fun. Yeah, I can, but first I want to learn before I look for people. I need to learn more. I need to understand it, and then I can preach about it. Right now, I can't. What about Warzone Mobile? You know, I had that, and I deleted it because they kept messaging me. <laughs> I the new call, all that new stuff. It was on my phone, and they kept messaging me, and I couldn't get it to go away. So I deleted it all. It was wearing me out with messages all the time, and I couldn't turn it off. So I deleted their whole everything about it. One of more damn messages. I don't want to be harassed 24 hours, 7 days a week by a game. When it's off, leave me alone. They kept sending me message after message about dumb shit. I just deleted it. Yeah, I don't really fast. I fast during the day. At night, I eat early. I take blood sugar meds. I don't fast. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm not a... I have it. I don't follow any religious, what do you call it? Nothing like that. I don't follow anything. I just do what I think is best. Yeah, I have uh, blood sugar problems. I got to be careful. And I take blood pressure meds, so I have to be real careful. Three days ago, I took the blood pressure, Jeff Wilson, hello. I took my blood pressure med in the morning. And I didn't eat or drink. And by lunchtime, it felt like I had swallowed a bowling ball that was on fire. <laughs> so I got to be real careful. I damn near hurt myself. Which reminds me, I need to go to the doctor today or tomorrow and tell her about this pill, blood pressure pill they gave me is too strong. It hurts my stomach. I don't like it. It's really too much. If I don't have something to eat and drink, it, I just can't even use it. So, I believe we will go into the, maybe tomorrow morning I'll go by there. I hate when they do that. They give you a med that's screwed up. Mine's not good. Nonsense med. Anything that hurts your stomach without food can't be healthy. But then again, multivitamins, if you don't eat something with them, will hurt your stomach too. Drink it with milk. All right. I remember watching you on Periscope 2016. It's been a while. Welcome, man. Whoop, whoop. Well, I've been online for over a decade. <laughs> it kind of seems weird. We have highs and lows and bigs and bows. Every year or two we get viral for about 90 days and it comes back down. The problem is I don't have a schedule. And I do it as a hobby, not as a business. So my stuff just comes and goes. Depends on what I'm into. I have a real job. <laughs> Now, if streaming was my real job, we'd get a schedule out. But it's not my real job. The funny thing is, the more over time, when I peaked at streaming, I had all sorts of nonsense equipment. And now that I'm leveled out, 
I got rid of all the nonsense. I only stream on a phone. Yeah, I'm living in compound. I only stream on the telephone or my laptop. I don't worry about uh, beautiful mics and great cameras. I don't care about all that anymore. <laughs> it don't really matter. So many people get into streaming and buy all sorts of shit you don't need. <laughs> If you're going to stream, just use your freaking telephone. You don't need nothing else. Zammer, good morning. Yeah, people say, what do you want to get for streaming? I said, just use your phone, man. You don't need nothing else. Use your freaking phone. Time does fly, man. Yeah, use your phone. And any phone. It don't have to be a great phone. I stream with a the cheapest phone you can buy. Yeah, I forget it was called what a Poco. That phone was like below a hundred dollars, and I streamed with it for six months. The only thing it did not have zero image stabilization, but it was still fine. I've streamed with the cheapest phones, and actually, the streaming on the cheap Motorola's is better than any expensive phone. Motorola makes some damn good phones still today. $130 Motorola phone, you'll be the best streamer on the planet. Fires, good morning. I'm streaming now on a Chinese phone. Periscope streams are great. Yeah, we did a lot, but those are just done by telephone. I was, uh, now I stream on a Chinese phone, the Xiaomi, Xiaomi, or however you say it. Works fine. We'll know in the summer how good this phone is. <laughs> I think it may have an overheating problem, but I'm not sure. We'll know in the summer. Love them Dahmer glasses. Yes, sir, my Dahmer glasses are high deal now. These are my John Wayne Gacy Dahmer replicas. They're actually Ray-Ban sunglasses, and I just put my prescription lenses in them. They're Ray-Ban sunglasses. That I put my, I had my prescription put in. They're kind of heavy though, I miss my Ray-Ban wired ones. I need to put new lenses in those. These are kind of heavy. Alright. Put it up for auction. I remember you and Jordan getting locked out of the hotel, yeah? Well, you've missed it. We were streaming and I've been streaming from Turkey to Helsinki, Finland to everywhere over the years. We've been in every country. I was in China at the beginning of the year, in Shenzhen, been in the Philippines, bought a sailboat, been streaming sailing, I got all sorts of crap going on. All right, let's get in this office. Uh, thoughts on the Moscow attack? Well, it looks like uh, Russia has it handled. They got pictures of the dudes they caught. They'll beat those guys into submission. They'll find out what's going on. You know, I trust Russia. I don't trust... Rem People don't remember that back just not so many years ago, the Ukraine was known as the most corrupt nation on the planet, and it was illegal to think of putting them in NATO or anything. And now the warmongers have made Ukraine good again, and America is giving them money. I want all my money back. I'd better give it to Russia. I trust Russia over that little Zelensky zucchini dude. Oh, wait. Let's turn this around. Anyway, I'm a Putin. I think Putin's a good guy, personally. Taking care of his country, taking care of his business. I like it. Ukraine is a money laundering scam thing. Oh, God. <laughs> 
everybody in America pays taxes. You're, you're taxed on everything from your house to your car to your street to your food. If you're in America, you're a taxpayer. You can look at it any way you want. If you're in America, you are a taxpayer. Sales tax, road tax, flight tax, every tax you can think of. No problem. If you buy something from Amazon in the U.S., you pay tax somehow, or that person who gave you the stuff paid tax. You're all paying those taxes. You can't alienate one tax from another and say, oh, did you pay? No. Everybody's paying. Good morning. Good. You guys go ahead. I'll wait for the next one. Please. <laughs> yeah, you young guys taking the elevator, lazy asses. You're a bunch of lazy asses. Look at you. 20 years old taking the elevator. Really? That has nothing to do with being lazy. <laughs> lazy ass. Taking the elevator with four guys. I don't do crowd in the elevator. Lazy people. My shoes are too slippery and there's no guardrail. There's no handrails and my shoes are slippery. Sometimes I take the steps, but it's very slippery. Granite floors and no guard rail and no handrail. I am my vegetarian, yeah right. People can be whatever they want. Vegetarian, pecker liquor, I don't care. For me, I like meat and girls. You can kiss boys, girls, or goats. Whatever floats, it's up to you. Beans, what's up? Uh. I don't know. I hate. I have to turn in every day and turn that off. I personally like the goats. There you go. Ain't nothing wrong with a good goat. Good sham. Quit. No, he's in there relaxing during Ramadan. Let's turn everything on. All right, now let's switch this around. Where's Shams? He back in his room, probably doing something. I don't know what he's up to. I believe we are settled. Let me turn my email for emergencies. I doubt there is. I have an email at home everywhere, so and I usually just check it anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six junk emails at the top of my business email. I get so tired of blocking all the junk. Full of junk. All right. Let's go see who's... Oh, yuck.
Good morning. Where's Shamsuddin? Oh. Good morning. Anything good? All right. I haven't been to Riyadh in a little while. That dude's not here. Shamsuddin, are you here? Yeah. What are you doing? Yes, sir. Oh, what's up, man? How are you? You have not shaven. You're looking rough today, huh? <laughs> Shamsuddin's in that Ramadan mood. Slow and easy. He's chilled for Ramadan. He don't have to run around and do a bunch of stuff. All right. Uh. Those guys, ain't nobody busy during Ramadan. It's a whole month of Ramadan. Everybody's chill. Everybody's in slow motion. They're off. Most everybody's fasting. They fast from sunup till sundown. No food, no drink. No nothing. So everybody's like, hmm? Everybody's in a, oh, you know? It is what it is. All right, let me show you what I had to buy today. Where is it? In order to spend my Amazon money, I got the HP Omen Blast headset. It's known as a mediocre headset, but it's something so I could at least use my credit. And I got this little video like... Preto Frog, good morning, and how are you today? It's another beautiful day in the kingdom. We are here, we are alive, and we are well. But other than that, just a normal day. We have... Today is, what is the date today? Today is the 27th. We have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In less than ten or eleven days, we have another holiday. I gotta ask, how big is it? How big is what? I remember when your iPhone man. I still have iPhone. Matter of fact, I keep it here, but I keep it only for my life. I keep my iPhone here in my eye sock. There's my iPhone, and this is my eye sock. <sighs> but I keep this for just my business, personal, my finance. My streaming phone is a Xiaomi 14. I streamed on this for a while, but it even has better features. But I prefer to wear out the Xiaomi. Bunny TV, how dare you ask that? Yeah, there's goofy people. It happens. It's like, it's, it just shows your age and what you think and about your life. People can ask what they want. <laughs> it don't really matter. That's just the way it is. You know, a lot of people have, not, have no culture. They have no idea or no understanding or no embracement of other people on the planet. I mean, the, you can tell there's a cluelessness there. Like during the month of Ramadan throughout the Middle East, and throughout Islamic countries. It's the time to be respectful, pleasant, and a nice person. But those from outside of those circles have no comprehension of the self-sacrifice and the meaning of Ramadan for the people of Islam. So when they come into during the month of uh, Ramadan and say things like that, it just shows that their lack of cultural understanding of the world, and they're just, they're just not, the, you know, not the best of people. That just happens. And you can't get upset because not everybody's supposed to know everybody's culture. I mean, I don't know what's going on in Hindu religions. I don't know what's going on in other ones. Maybe peppermint finger roll eyes. <laughs> Who knows? It's just the way it is, you know. Not everybody's in tune with your holidays or your events. I know I went to Bali, Indonesia during some Hindu Buddhist type holiday time. And I didn't understand it, and I didn't act any different, but I had no idea what they were doing. 
They were burning incense on every doorstep and they were running all over town with peckers. And apparently it was the holiday of the God of fertility. There was even children at the elementary school walking around with big peckers, pecker suckers, lollipops, hats, and they all run around with a big penis on them. And that was the God of fertility. And that kind of, I thought that was freaking crazy. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Yeah. I had never seen something like that. Yeah, it's a bunch of nonsense. I'd never seen anything like that. I would just couldn't understand it. But see, we didn't grow up around that. Civil society that Thomas Jefferson wrote about is great, is it? I like your streams because you show the different countries, yes. I was shocked in Indonesia, in Bali. Did they make the office freezing today? Yeah, I already turned off that air. He turns it on every day, he says, to dry the floors. Well, use somebody else's unit. I've seen real, the weird thing too, dear Randy, we all know you're the god of fertility. You never know. When I was in the Philippines back in the early 90s, they had a festival and they actually crucified people and carried them around on a cross. Have you seen that? They nail people to a cross and carry them around. They take it overboard. Bali is a junk pile. Yeah, I don't like it. But in the Philippines, they actually crucify people. People volunteer to do it. You've seen that. It's crazy. They literally crucify them, carry them around town. It's very extreme. It sounds a little extreme. It's overboard. I've really seen just totally strange stuff. Did you miss the 4th of July? I don't miss anything. I don't adhere to anything at all. I just live a chill life, you know? I get to travel, I get to do a few things. We have some funky events and things, but all in all, I'm really a no BS person. Haven't you learned that by now? I, if something's too much BS, I just leave it alone, don't worry about it. I'm just kind of that way. Yeah, I can't wait to get to Riyadh again next soon. We'll see. But I don't really do any BS at all. I'm just a no BS person. And what I mean by that is anything that's too much of a headache or causes too much nonsense, I just don't get around it. The older I get, the less I want BS. You know, if some, I hate with a passion to make plans for something on the weekend. I mix those thin eggs, but I hate to make plans for a weekend. Hey man, you want to go out Saturday and go to dinner and then you think about the whole week. Oh, I got to go to dinner. I can't do this or I can't do that. So I don't make plans. My life is about me only and my family. If you wanted to see extreme, 1982, Subi Bay was wild. Yeah, that was. In Iraq, they will kill farm animals on the sidewalks and let the blood go all over the place. I've seen that. That's just public uh, butchers. No, not a big deal. But at the end of the day, I don't even like to make a plan or anything. It's such an inconvenience. I like to be able to get up and go do what I want, when I want, without thought. If I'm driving somewhere and I change my mind to turn left and not go there, I, I like having that option. The best plan is no plan at all. A lot of people over plan holidays. They take directed cruises or directed packages. Not me. I'm off the beaten track, do what I want, chill. I don't want to put myself on a stress that I have to. My appointments and my things that are on a schedule is only for work. After work, I don't have no schedule. <laughs> After work, it's just up to me what I do, want to do when I want to do it. You'll see as you get older. That's so nice to have the freedom just to do what you want and not have headaches of others and other demands all the time. 
in Saudi, does holiday mean vacation? It can mean the same thing. That's really a diversified meaning, depending on in every country. I have a holiday coming up. Does it mean a vacation? If I make it a vacation, I guess. I was going to Bangkok, Thailand next month, and I changed my mind now because I don't want to spend the money. Gemini Sky, what's happening and how are you? We're glad you're here. My goodness, where have you been? Yeah, I was going to Thailand next month, but it doesn't look like I'm going to make it. I have to take care of some other things. You're doing good. I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, I was going to plan a trip to Thailand with the family, and I, I, it still may work out at the last minute, but I doubt it. Man, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Thailand got woman with beggars. Man, <laughs> there's a difference between the folks in Thailand and the folks around north, uh, western countries. Randy, have you kept up with P. Diddy news? I don't know what's going on. In the UK, if you ask for a napkin, they will bring you a diaper. <laughs> Same with the cookie and the crackers and the chips. It's all different things. Depends on the country. I don't know. I don't even know. I've seen some flashes about this P. Diddy. Didn't they go to his house or something? But I don't know. I really don't know what's happening with old P. Diddy Watt. I wonder what he's up to. Did he have a problem? <laughs> Whatever he did, it's up to him. <laughs> Every place has a trans woman, it's nothing new. Well, the only thing new is demanding to be treated equal or, or the same because you've decided that you're going to be different than your actual state of birth. When you go to Asia and other countries, they will say, I am a man who likes to be considered a woman. And they don't demand you to worship and give them all sorts of special acknowledgement. Uh, the demands are just mainly a U.S. type thing. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I don't want to get into that talk. It is what it is. All right, what am I doing today? I forgot what I'm up to. I'm on a mission to find one. You find whatever you're looking, looking for. It's up to you. Everybody does. Thank you for following Goofy Woman 512. What's up? Let's see, what am I going to do right now? Goofy Woman, are you also, uh, <laughs> aka formerly Goofy Man? <laughs> oh. In Australia, they also cater to the people, do they? Yeah, wherever they want to, it's up to them. I don't cater to nobody. <laughs> Everybody, whoever you are is what you are. I don't care what your dietary requirement is or your sexual desires. There's nothing worse than somebody telling me, I have a pronoun, I'm a vegetarian, and I used to be a dude. Okay, uh, like I give a shit. <laughs> I don't really give a shit. I don't embrace any mental illness. Yeah, I don't embrace no mental illness. You can love it. Yeah, I don't really care what people do. Actually, I wish everybody was gay. That way I could, there'd be more beautiful ladies for us straight folks. Vice versa, you know. Pronoun warriors. Man, I ain't into all that nonsense. <laughs> People looking for identity everywhere except in themselves, man. This is not an Apple Watch. This is came free with my Xiaomi phone. This is a cheap... How much is this? I've never looked it up. Let's see. It's the Redmi 3 watch. 
It came free with my phone. You can buy one of these for 149 reals, which is $30. This is a $30 watch right here. <laughs> 149 reals. It's a $30 watch. Check it out. That's the one I have. 149 reals. Divide that by 3.75 and that'll give you the dollars. So it's a Xiaomi Red My Smartwatch 3. 149 reals. Pretty damn cheap. <laughs> Works fine. My Casio's at home. I just because it tracks my blood pressure and my heart rate. So I like the tracking of my body. It's below $50, something like that. Let's see, how much is $149? Hold on. $149 divided by 3.75. It's a $39.70 watch. $39. Let's say $40. Bucks. $40 watch. And I didn't pay for it. It came free with my phone. I bought the Xiaomi 14 and it gave you a bunch of free stuff and this came in the box. I would never buy a smartwatch, but I got one for free so I'm wearing it. No, it's 3.75. The phone was, let me show you the phone. Let me show you the kit I got. Let's see. X. Here's the package I got. Oh shit, that's the wrong color. Let's go to the exact color package. Okay, the phone that I'm using to broadcast, I'm using this phone, the Xiaomi 14. Mine has 16 gig of RAM, 512 memory. It was 3,499 reals. It came with a free watch, and it came with this box of stuff here. This box of stuff is like a gimbal, a case, a leather pouch, and all sorts of shit. Because it's a new model, it was a promo gift boxes that came with it. And this, this actually, Xiaomi has a Snapdragon 3, Snapdragon 8 version 3. So mine was actually quite nice. That's not 1500 bucks. That's not even a thousand. That's eight hundred dollars, man. This is eight hundred dollars. And I bought this because it came with all the stuff. It's like eight hundred bucks, man. Oh, it's fifteen in the US. You won't get the same specs. In Saudi, we get higher specs for less money. Even this one says it has 12 gig of RAM. Mine says it has 16 gig of RAM. Our specs are different here. I have a regular SIM and an eSIM. It has different... We get better features in Saudi. I don't know why, but I think the market here is different. What it is in America, most of your phones and stuff are carrier subsidized. So the market is based on what carriers take what product. Whereas here, nobody does that shit. Here, people go out and buy a damn phone. They don't want no package, no plan, no this, no that. People just go buy a phone. There's some people that do a plan purchase, but 99% of everybody buys a phone cash. They don't do none of this plan crap. Randy, ever thought of owning a shotgun? I've owned every gun you can own and had every one. I have hunted, owned, and shot every weapon known to man. I don't need a gun. I've had them all. We grew up with guns. We got shotguns and rifles when we were 12 years old, 10 years old. You got a gun in Saudi? No, I'm not supposed to. 
company plan phones are BS. Yes, they are. What is my favorite gun? I don't have a favorite. Every gun has a usage. But growing up, my favorite gun was I had a 22 semi-automatic Colt rifle. And I could shoot the head off a dragonfly at 50 feet away. That was my funnest gun because it was the cheapest to go out to the range and shoot with. I really enjoyed that one. 22 long rifle, Colt, semi-automatic was very nice because it was cheaper to go use. Uh, some good use, can't get 556.762 five, six, six, though, just 9M and 12, I hear you. Uh, that plan crap needs to be illegal. It makes everything more expensive. Yeah. In the U.S., you get lower specs and higher prices because of the plan finance nonsense. It's also in a lot of Western countries. But nobody here would ever think to buy a locked phone in a plan. No way. I don't even know if it's legal. Ah, I did not let you buy a phone anymore without a contract. Say, screw that. I don't do any contracts. I can sell, change, all my phones are fully unlocked. I'm not a plan person. They, even in the Philippines, nobody wants no plan. I can't believe that people get, <laughs> you get lower specs and long-term commitments because you go with a plan. There's nothing beneficial about you. You get to save a couple hundred bucks at the beginning of the ownership, but in the long run, you pay double the price for less features. The, having a phone free from your cell plan is the biggest thing. You know what? And also, people who don't use the phone and go out and buy $1,000 phone, and you don't broadcast, and it's not a part of your life, but you go and spend $1,000 on a phone you don't need. That's why the U.S. economy, yeah. I mean, right now, let's see. The best phone for the money today... If I woke up today and I needed a phone and I didn't broadcast, I would go for the, uh, here we go. We have the Motorola G54 5G. Great phone, great price. It's all you need. Check this out. Saudi and you want a good phone for a great price, this Moto G54 5G has got 256 Mem uh, storage, 8 gig of RAM. These are great phones. You can get it in three different colors. This is one of the best phones I, I know of for the money. How much is that? Let's see. How much is that? All apps. Uh, calculator. Let's take our 649 divided by 3.75. $173. That is a great price. And it comes in, you can get it in blue, green, and black, $173. They have cheap Pocos too, but this is a great phone. I've used it to broadcast with. It's a really nice phone. This is what you can use to everyday life. It is not crap. It is a great phone. I used one for a year. It's a great phone. It's one of the best for the money you can buy. Motorola and the software is beautiful. Motorola doesn't put in bloatware and crapware. You know what I mean? They, they don't put in bullshit software you don't need. It's clean Android experience. Mwah, muy bueno. $173, that's all you need. You don't need anything more. When you're when you're normal and you just watch and consume media, there's no reason to spend more than a two hundred dollars on a phone. What languages did you speak? I probably can do a few here and there. I got Infinix Note 14. It was in Asia working great. Infinix is that that's a new brand, and they're budget phones, and I think they're great. I almost bought one myself. But I'm more of a Moto fan. And right now, I just went for this Xiaomi because of the big package thing and I needed it. I could never go back to a smaller screen. I actually switched to smaller screen. I quit using the big screens. I hate the bastards. Even my iPhone is the regular iPhone Pro, not the Max. 
and my Xiaomi 14 is the regular size. I have found out after having the, the, the S24 Ultra and all the big ass phones, this is not comfortable. But when you're here and your thumb can reach pretty much the whole phone, that's more comfortable. This is my better use. If I need a bigger screen, I'll use my freaking laptop or my tablet. But for my daily handheld, including the phone we're on now, I want this size. I do not want a giant phone. I never want them smaller phones. I mean the biggest phones. <laughs> I think these are still six point some inches. All right, man, I gotta get ready to do something here. Let me see what's up here. All right, let's go see what Clay is doing over there with Tao. If you're on Twitch, you're gonna be going to another channel, you're going over to Vietnam. I personally have to go to work now. So thank you for being here. Uh, the other people on Twitch, you guys are be headed over to Vietnam. If you're on YouTube or what other stations, then we'll see you guys later. You'll just be chilling out. But you Twitch viewers, you'll be headed over to Vietnam. See you later. Bye, Salama. Rabbit on Kareem.